I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on basics about number systems. We'll consider decimal exponents in this particular video. We'll actually understand the strategy to evaluate numbers with decimal exponents. So I've taken five examples here, which I'll extend to recurring decimals also. For example, we could have uh, what is 27 to the power of uh, 0 0.333, right, 3 recurring. Or we could have uh, 8 to the power of uh, 0 0.6 recurring. So we'll also see how to evaluate uh, these exponents. So let's begin with the very first one, which is 16 to the power of 0 0.5. Now, the first step when you have decimal numbers is to write it as a fraction. So 0 0.5 can be written as half, right? So it is 16 to the power of half, correct? So 0 0.5 is half, so it gets 16 to the power of half, which you know we're talking about square root of 16, right? So you're more familiar with this nomenclature, square root of 16. Now it is very clear, square root of 16 is 4, and so we get our result, right? So we are not very familiar with decimal numbers as exponents that sometimes create a problem. Now similarly, for 81 to the power of 0 0.25, which is a quarter, right? 0.5 is half, 0.25 is a quarter. So this could be written as 81 to the power of 1 over 4, right? That means fourth root, right? So that means uh, 81, we were, want to find what is the fourth root of 81. Now 81, you know, can be written as 9 times 9, right? So, which is basically, you could write 9 times 9 as 81, right? But we are interested in the fourth root. We can now write 9 as 3, right? So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? So that means clearly fourth root is 3. So we get this answer as 3. Now we have 16 to the power of 1.25. Now 1 is a whole number. So we could write this as equal to 16, which is 1, times 16 to the power of 0 0.25. Do you see that? So which is quarter, correct? 16 whole, right? So we have 16 whole. And this means the fourth root, as we just saw, right? So fourth root of 16, which, you know, square root is 4 and the fourth root is 2. So we could write this as 16 times 2, and that is equal to 32, correct? So likewise, we could now easily find solution to exponents, which are in decimal numbers, correct? So now let's do the other two. We have 32 to the power of 0 0.2. So you could say when we have 0 0.2, it is same as 2 over 10, which is 1 fifth, correct? So that is how you could easily convert your decimal number into fractions. So we could write this as 32 to the power of 1 over 5, fifth root, right? So which is 32, and we are interested in the fifth root. Well, you know, 32 is 2 to the power of 5, and now we are finding the fifth root of 2 to the power of 5, so the answer is 2, right? So that's another way of looking into it. We could have written 81 as 3 to the power of 4 or 9 squared, and then we could have got our result much faster, right? Now here, we have 243, but the exponent is negative. Now, negative really means 1 over, right? So, negative is reciprocal. So, it is like 1 over 243 to the power of 0 0.2. Does it make sense to you, right? So, which is 1 over 243 and 0.2 is 1 fifth, right? So, fifth power of 243. So, we are trying to figure out what is the fifth power root of 243, correct? Now, 81 times 3 
is 243. So 3 to the power of 5 it is, correct? So it is, uh, you could write this as, you could add a step here, right? 3 to the power of 5 is 243. And so what we get here as our answer as 1 over 3. Does make sense to you? So it could be done in this fashion, correct? Now, we have two questions for you. The first one here is, what is 27 to the power of 0 0.333 and what is 8 to the power of 0 0.6 recurring, correct? Let's try to see how to get these numbers when you are working with recurring or repeating decimals, correct? So let me rewrite 27. So, so we'll use a different ink here. So, okay, 27 to the power of 0 0.333 really means what? It means 27 to the power of 1 over 3. So 1 over 3 is 0 0.333. So we're really finding the cube root of 27, which you know is 3, correct? So cube root of 27 is 3. So don't get afraid with these repeating decimals. Convert them to fractions and then use the radicals to find the answer, right? Similarly, when we have 8 to the power of 0 0.6 recurring, it really means 8 to the power of 2 over 3, right? So it is twice 0 0.3, 2 over 3. So basically, you... Uh, Sorry, 2 over 3 I have to write. 2 over 3, right? So basically, what you're saying is we need to figure out what is 8 square and then what is its cube root, right? You could also consider this as cube root of 8 and then square it, correct? So we could also think like this. 8 cube root, right? And then square it. Cube root of 8 is 2 and 2 square is 4. So we get answer as 4. Do you see that? So we found these solutions to be uh, for 8, we just found this as uh, 4. And for 27, we got this as 3. Correct? So that is how you could solve if you have recurring decimals. So what we have learned here in this video is a couple of things. One, convert your decimals to fractions and then write them as a radical and find your root. If the decimal is like 1.25 that really means one whole right so 16 times in this case so one whole if the decimal value is negative that means reciprocal correct and if you have a repeating decimal it could be converted into fractions 0.333 recurring is 1 over 3 and 0.66 is 2 over 3 use these concepts and then convert them to radicals and find your answer. So I hope that helps. So we could do many of such questions without calculator using this simple concept. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.